Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a vending machine from scratch. Here are the materials you'll need. The first step to making your vending machine is to get your paper board box and you're going to cut it and paint it. You're going to cut off the side so later you can do the window of the vending machine easily and then you're going to paint it. I painted mine blue. You can do whatever color you want. You don't even have to paint it if you don't want to, but I just wanted to because um, I don't want a cracker on my vending machine. Now you're gonna be taking your scissors and as I said, you're going to be cutting the window out of the vending machine. Now you're going to hot glue the side back on so it's one piece again. I know it looks a little like funky but like if you are skilled enough to just cut it without cutting the whole box then like good for you. I can't do that. You can definitely do that but I'm not skilled enough to do that. As you can see I put a piece of cardstock that's like colored because I didn't want to see the background of the box I guess to make it nicer. Now I'm taking my toilet paper roll and I'm drawing a circle of where I have to cut. Now that I have the right size, I am cutting it out and putting the toilet paper roll inside. You have to make sure that it fits perfectly because essentially this is the thing that will get your prize out. This is super hard to explain, but what you have to do is cut out like a rectangle from the toilet paper roll and make sure that it just fits right, I guess. I don't even know how to say it. We're going to cut out a rectangle and that is where your prize will fall in when you twist it. I am now trimming the toilet paper roll down so it's not as chunky and like pointing out I guess. It makes it a lot easier. So now that it's like lower and easier to grab, I'm taking the excess paper board or toilet paper roll that I had and I'm cutting it out into a circle and putting it on top of the toilet paper roll so there's no hole. Now I'm decorating it so it doesn't look like a toilet paper roll. Well, I decided to like re-stick it in between because the top kept on falling off so I just decided to hot glue it. So that's what I was doing want to know now I put it in and it fits perfectly because that's what you want and I'm going to now cut the back open so when you put the coins in you can get the coins back out and you can change the prizes and actually put the prizes in as well so yeah so there's an inside look of what it looks like not finished. Now I'm actually going to glue that piece of um, cardstock onto the back so it doesn't fall off. But I decided to use tape because I was too lazy to wait for it to dry because waiting for the paint to dry earlier took a, like most of the time so I didn't want that to happen again. Now I'm taking a piece of extra cardboard that I had from a cardboard box and I'm gluing it in the space between the toilet paper roll and the wall of 
the box so none of the prizes or whatever you're putting inside falls down or else there's no point of this i guess Now I'm going to be cutting out the hole for the coins to go in. So first I'm going to be making the little box of where the coins are going to be so they don't just fall into the vending machine randomly. So yeah, now I'm drawing the line of where I should cut and that took a while and I feel like I almost stabbed my finger a few times so you must be careful during this procedure. If you are a younger kid trying to do this, make sure you ask an adult or a parent or an older sibling. Just someone that's older and knows how to use the scissors, I guess. So as you can see, it worked after a long time. As you can see, the box there that I stuck to the wall of the box. Now I'm going to be cutting out the prize shoot, I guess. I don't know what's called the prize shoot. I don't know basically where the prize goes when it actually comes out of the machine and where you can collect the prize. So I just cut out the square. Depending on how big your prizes are, you should cut it bigger or smaller. Um, mine aren't actually that big, so I just made it smaller. I'm take I took a piece of cardstock and I just glued, uh, taped it to the back of it and fold it in so you can push it back when you're getting your prize. Now it is time to make the plastic part or glass part, whatever you want to call it, um, in the vending machine. I, this took so long because I just couldn't get it right and then I just went to the solution of just taping on the floor and then adding the other piece of tape on top of it so it's not sticky. Um, an easier way was to just get plastic, I guess, but I didn't have that, so this is the solution, I guess. Now I'm just taping the tape into the window of the vending machine. The basic vending machine is done and I decided to do some decorations. All I used for this was some cardstock and I cut out the scallop shape on the edges. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Now I'm taking some deco tape, wash tape, whatever you want to call it, and I'm sticking it at the bottom because I guess I thought it looked boring. Just a preference, you don't have to do this, as I said. I didn't film this, but I wrote push, prize, twist, and 25 cents on it. squishies because I made a vending machine from scratch a long time ago with my mom and it was because I was interested in squishies back then so now I decide to recreate it um, obviously this one looks a lot better but yeah
And if you are wondering, this is what the inside looks when you um, use the vending machine. I only put one thing in there because it would be too crowded, I guess, and everything would be falling. If you were wondering what my old vending machine toy thing looked like, this is what it looked like. You basically have to pull the ruler out and then it'll drop into this section right here where you can get your prize. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys next week. Bye!